Harry Havelock in red, gate one. Marvin Cox in blue, gate two. Simon Wig in white, gate three. And Joe Screen in yellow and black in gate number four. This could be a real cracker for the Speedway fans in heat number 12. We wait for the green light to go on. It does indeed. The weather takes go up and away they drive. And who's going to get the drop? It's hairy, fairy stuff as we lose the rider in yellow and black Joe Screen. Ferocious third turns were the order of the day. We never expected anything less. Let's take a look in slow motion exactly what goes on as they go in, have a look, and it looks as though the rider in blue, Marvin Cox and Wig, just drifts out a little bit wide and leaves Joe Screen nowhere to go but bail out, as did Paul Thorpe do earlier in the afternoon. It's nice to see Joe Screen back on his feet. Do uh, Paul Thorpe the first one to come out and see how he is. He suffered the same feet earlier in this afternoon. Screen near Butler. Joe Screen, very, very young, 19 years of age, youngest rider in the field. And thankfully, Mr. John Whitaker saying, we'll have all four back, please, for the restart of heat number 12. And of course, we don't want to see anybody injured or anybody out through fours this afternoon. So the restaging, the rerun of heat number 12, Gary Havelock still in gate one, Marvin Cox blue, gate two, Simon Wig white, gate three, and Joe Screen in the thick of things in yellow and black in gate number four. Let's hope that hasn't dented his concentration. But it's all about the rider in red and white and throwing Cox, the very fast starting Marvin Cox in between them. And it's fair to say the poor old screen, he had nowhere to go off that first turn of heat number 12. Let's see what happens as Tate Rise on the restart. Away they drive. And what's going to happen this time is Harry Avalok has got there. Wade cuts up the inside, but it's Avalok that's got the drop. Avalok, second place, Cox is there. Oh, just let that Cox try and come underneath. Gary Havelock not quite got the speed. Havelock's there. Well, Gary Havelock could be the rider that goes in at the halfway stage and beat Norris. Marvin Cox could have something to say about that. Wig is relegated to fourth position at the moment. Joe Screen is in third position. So a nightmare third ride for Simon Wig. Well, all eyes are on Gavi ha Gary Havelock. Marvin Cox is literally breathing down his exhaust pipe, but it's getting a little bit dusty out there. We need to have a bit more to put on the track at the end of our here at Brandon. So have a look, leads. Cox second. Joe Screen third. Wig fourth as we're on the final lap of heat number 12. An event for one to say the least, but it looks as though Gary Havelock is going to go into the interval stage unbeaten. A 23 year old rider from Bradford. He gets a win in heat number 12. Second place is Marvin Cox. Third place is Joe Screen. So, Gary Havelock is certain to go in the interval stage, unbeaten on nine points at the British final here at Coventry this afternoon.